everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Today, we're going to crack open this Doctor Who Series 11 and 12 trading cards. This is the series that was made exclusively for the United Kingdom. And uh, I believe the uh, version for the United States comes out later this year. And we'll feature sketch cards along with other cool inserts. Um, I'm not sure exactly what's in here insert-wise. I haven't checked all of them out. Um, I, I really like Doctor Who. Um, I haven't, I used to watch it when I was younger and, uh, then stopped watching it for a while. And then I kind of picked it back up when I started, uh, doing cards for them a few years ago. And, uh, so we'll get this one open and see what we got. It's, uh, limited to 5,000 boxes. This one is 39.25. So let's see what we get. If I can get it open. There we go. So let's see here. Um, five cards in the pack. Uh, they don't usually do odds um, for Strictly Ink. I'm not Strictly Ink. That's who had Doctor Who before. Um, this is Rittenhouse. These are have all a matte finish, which is nice because my overhead light sometimes is uh, a mess. And uh, I'm not going to fly through these yet because I've actually not really paid attention to these much online because I wanted to be able to enjoy them with you. Is that Well, that's really great circulation here. Collation, circulation, such. Look at that, two in the same pack. That's a bummer. If it was a great card, it would be cool. And there's the, the doctor, the female doctor. I know people had a fit about it Um some people, anyways, because God forbid there be a female or a black Doctor Who. Speaking of, there actually will be a black Doctor Who. Um, that sounds horrible saying that, but it's going to be a black person. Not that that matters. Um, it does to people, unfortunately. Um, but um, I look forward to actually seeing the new one. At least the, the one I saw it listed, that's what it said, so... And this is kind of cool. It's Nikola Tesla. Doctor Who. And this is one of the villains. All right. it would be cool to get uh, autographs. It doesn't really say much what's on here. It's a little hard to open. Oh yeah, that's another one of the villains. Kind of cool. Um, but it would be pretty sweet if there are sketch cards in here to actually get one. That would be pretty wild. Um, I will say, though, I wasn't... Although I like the Doctor, I, I really wasn't uh, really that impressed with villain-wise or aliens. They really didn't do much. Um, there's only one in particular that I like. And when I see it, I will show you. But, uh, yeah, the Cybermen, you, they're almost in every series. Oh, and this is what the backs of the cards look like, if you're interested. There's the Doctor. Actually, I think um, they had an issue and didn't really want a lot of people. Oh, my crap. This one's like, like how that's sealed. It's like really vacuumed. I think it's open. These are rough. Holy crap. I can't open this one. I have to use the razor. <laughs> I know it's a hard way to open cards, but man, these things are sealed. Uh, uh, uh. Trying to see if we get any special cards. I haven't seen any yet, so I'm curious if there are or what type of inserts. It's funny, like, this one is actually has a, a varnish on it somewhat. And this one's a totally matte card. So, I'm not sure if that's a different... I guess it is. It has the yellow bottom on it. Although this one is also, and it's matte. I I have a feeling that they printed these on two different runs on the printer. And they happen to be using gloss paper on this one and not matte on... I mean, they use matte for this one. Kind of interesting. Because <clears throat> I know a lot of co companies, when they print cards or whatever, they do runs with different sets 
all in one thing. And uh, that may have that I got finished. If there isn't any inserts in the, at all in this one, that's kind of be sad. Um, but we haven't seen one yet. No special inserts. And I feel bad for people in the UK then. But yeah, this is um, this is like old stock. Like the old Topps cards. That's interesting. Hoping to find something fun in here. I still, I've only once ever pulled one of my own sketch cards, which is um, kind of funny. It was long ago. Um, but yeah, certain one of these are printed on old stock. I didn't read a ton about this set, so maybe that's what they did. Maybe that's the rare card. <laughs> ones that are matte, ones that aren't. That, that'd be kind of weird. But uh, yeah, these are kind of the same cards again. Um, I feel like anyways, there's that one again. A lot of repeats. There must be a low number of base cards in this set. I still haven't seen, unless they're keeping it for the U.S. series, one of the episodes that I wanted to share with you, I don't see yet. God, these are really glued shut. Ugh. I'll break my fingers off. Got enough issues with them. There's some Cyberman. And this there's a specific Cyberman that has half his face, kind of like um, Captain Phasma. He has half of his uh, mask broken off. But I still have not seen Rosa. Rosa is a great episode. That's Rosa Parks. If that's the one, it's a great episode. Um, which I'm glad to see that they talk about in the episodes. They go back in history with significant events back then. Um, timeless Children. Like I said, that's him without his half of a human under there. Cyborg. Kerblam. That is my favorite episode. And uh, I love the robots for Kerblam. I don't see it. It's kind of like a... I'm not going to say it because I have one right next to me. It's an A-L-E-X-A -A <laughs> type of uh, episode where you can, the humans ship the, the uh, or fill the orders and robots take care of the rest of the stuff. Um, it's a pretty wild episode and I love the, the um, Kerblam Man. Um, they're, they're a great character. I really enjoyed them. But wow, I've yet to see one insert. This is kind of not so fun. I mean, it's cool to see them. That's an interesting uh, costume. But uh, yeah, that pile so far, not one insert other than... Uh, oh, oh, I spoke too soon. You know what? I'm going to wait on this one. I saw something in it, but I'm going to wait. Just because I don't know what other type of inserts we'll get. So let's do the rest of these first. I spoke too soon. Actually, oop, I guess the better stuff's further in the box. Um, here is uh, here's a special insert. And it, it is very cool. It has the Cyberman with half his mask and half his face. It's on a glossy, as you can see, parts glossy, parts not. It's a lone Cyberman. That's a really cool card. Well, we finally got inserts. I was kind of thought for a while they weren't going to get any. But uh, yeah, some's on vintage stock, and then some's on a, a white stock. But uh, all right, so, okay, there is something cool in there. It doesn't say anywhere. Like, you would never know otherwise, unless you go to their website, that there's actually... Any special inserts? I see another one now. So that's why I often, when I used to buy cards at card stores, I would dig underneath, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, try to go further down because it seems, especially in this set, we got uh, cool cards. Um, ooh, that one's a little bit of a got stuff on it, but uh, that's cool now. So we have that, kind of similar to what they did with Star Trek. It's a kind of a similar design. And that's M2. So we'll just put that in the pile. 
This one is backwards. I'm not sure because it, the other one was an insert. Nope. We have another special card. So look at that. So we're going to separate those. So that is cool. We're actually getting some good stuff in here. Just uh, wasn't much at the beginning. Right now we're kind of repeating ourselves. Like I said, uh, there's not a ton of scenes. I wonder if you can probably... I remember back in the old days when you could actually open an entire one box and you could fill an entire set or complete an entire set. Um, I, don't, I think we might have another or just a shiny card. But... Uh, and there's the TARDIS in the background. I love watching Doctor Who also because I love British accents. Um, actually, my heritage is, is a lot from the UK, I found out. Oh, dude. All right. This is number two. There's two autographs in here so far. I'm not going to look yet. I'll wait till the end. Oh, if I can get this open. But I believe I saw another autograph. Oh, we got another. Actually, what is this one? It's another cool card. They have a lot of subsets. This is New Year's Special 2021. That's cool. Doctor Who. Doctor Who. And then I would say something to my wife about, hey, you ever you know Doctor Who? And she'll go, who? And I go, Doctor Who. Because I'm stupid and fall for things like that. Oh, I'll show you on the back of this card. I love this dude. Um, oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I should have waited on that. Well, there is Nadia P. Nadia Parks. I'm not sure who. Claire Claremont she played in an episode. I'm going to leave that one there. So that means there's three autographs at least so far in here. That's a lot for one box. I believe I got four in the, oh my God, Star Trek one also. This open. Doctor Who. I got that song in my head. Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Doctor Who. There he is. Kerblam Man. Isn't he cool? It's a super ass villain. I love him. It's so cool. I wish. I don't know if anyone's attempted to make that costume because a lot of people make Doctor Who costumes. That would be an awesome costume. I would even want one of those, although it'd be creepy as hell at night. Here's some Japanese type art. These are really cool. I saw these before somewhere. Those are neat. There's a series of them, as you can see. AP4. So this is a bunch. This is the only one we've gotten so far. Oh, I think I put inserts in that one too. There it is, Rosa Parks. Um, it's a great episode. Really good episode. So it looks like you get, well, I don't know if it's a guarantee, but we got three autographs from what I saw. Oh, make that four. All right, we're going to put that right there. Four a box. That's awesome. Pops, not even close to that. You're lucky you get one in a box these days. Um, so, yeah, that's why I like Rittenhouse better. Sorry, Tops. Look at that bad boy. It's got a cool stamp on it. TARDIS. It's got a TARDIS stamp. wonder how many other ones are there. This is only 99 of these. 21 of 99. That's really cool. I gotta see if I can find me a Kablam Man one of that somewhere. But, uh, yep, that's it. And this dude, I'm not sure who he is, but I think I've seen him before in other shows. I can't remember. Alright, here we go. This one are the final packs, and there are three autographs in here. So, let's go. And yes, I need to cut my nails. They are too long. Samuel Oatley. My fingernails grow very quickly. Um, so that's cool. Although, that's kind of an odd signature. It almost looks like he uh, fell asleep during it. <laughs> but that's cool. That's the villain. If I got a Kerblam Auto McGrath, I'd go nuts. And there's another. Here we go. Uh, nope. Oh, not yet. And we got this lady. 
Nadia Parks. Didn't I just... Or is it the one I just saw? And, oh, and then we get this woman. She is one of the main people. Mandip Gill. It's an interesting name. Explore. M. Gill, she signs her name. That's pretty cool. She's one of the main people. Um, so, those three. Not E.P. Not E. Parks. So, those there. And we got one more. Wouldn't it be awesome if we got the Doctor? That would be crazy. But I doubt that. And it is... Oh, we got one more underneath this one. And... Oh, I don't even know who that is. Joshua Bowman. He is in Rosa. He's in the Rosa Parks episode. So I'll have to go back and look at that one. It's not a horrible autograph. It's, uh, I would definitely say, I think Nadia's is my favorite one. But uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, then I think I might have put a few in there, but here's our um, special cards with the... Uh, embossed foil that's pretty cool japanese art the 2021 special they usually do that once a year for christmas and new year's it's pretty cool um and allies and adversaries that is cool badass this kind of creeps me out you know those people who have a phobia of teeth uh, in a face which, which I'm not sure why teeth grow out of face normally. But this man has like teeth all growing out of his face. And it is very creepy. Um, but yeah, that's the one thick card we got. And then we got another Allies and Adversaries, Cyberman. And then we got these four autographs. I would say that these are probably the order I, I like them. Or maybe this way. I don't know. But either way, four autographs in one box. That's pretty nuts. And uh, they're not bad ones either. So I am very happy with that. I appreciate Rittenhouse hooking me up with some boxes to open for you guys. And um, if you haven't already, check out Rittenhouse's website. I will leave uh, I will leave their link to their website on my uh, page when I am done with this video. And you can check them out and see what stuff they have available. Uh, mostly they have uh, licenses for Star Trek Game of Thrones, and Doctor Who, Star Trek. So they got some good licenses. And I've always had nothing but good things to say about them. I love them. And uh, really enjoyed working for them. So, but as you can see, yeah, every few uh, cards have the uh, old old stock. Which is pretty cool. Um, I know Tops used to do that sometimes, so... Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please, you know, and uh, I appreciate your support, and uh, you have yourself a great day, and I will talk to you guys again soon.